Welcome to the smart board training session. Today I'm going to show you how to make a smart board uh, lesson. This one is really neat. It's called the Vortex Sorter. So you start by going to Smart Notebook, which I've already opened to save time. After this, in the gallery section, type in Vortex. Now you'll see a lot of hits, but the best place to click is the Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. When you click there, if you go to picture, or sorry, if you go to interactive and multimedia, you'll find a whole bunch of activities. All of these are really fun, but the best one that I've found so far is the vortex sorter. So scroll down, and you should see blue vortex sort. Once you've found this, click on it and drag it to the activity center, to the main page. It'll take a second to load. And you might want to uh, try to close the gallery a little bit so that you don't see it so much. Um, to edit this activity, there's a little box that says edit and you can click it and it'll let you change the labels. So an example of an activity that would be, this would be really good for would be for urban and rural communities. So in, one ca in Vortex Label 1, you could type urban. And in Vortex Label 2, you could type rural. Now I'm only going to do a few labels just for an example, but you can do many labels as you can see. So for urban, I'll type in city, bus, and car. Uh, for, rur for rural, I'll type in farm, tractor, and horse. So those are my urban and rural um, categories, or, or my urban and rural labels. If you want to make it even neater, you can click Rotate Vertices, which means that it will rotate when you go to drop, drag and drop. After you finish this, click OK and go back to the main page. If you scroll down, you'll see that the things that you just put in are there. So if I drag tra Tractor to Rural, it will go in. However, if I were to drag Farm to Urban, it will not accept it. If you drag it to Rural, it will. This is really fun for the kids because it's a great way for them to sort the, the labels that they've been given in class. They can test their knowledge and see if they understand what they've learned. It's really interesting because the vortices will um, not accept the ones that are not meant for it. And you can also edit it. You can do it with many, many things. Um, you could even do it with math problems. Um, you could do it with health. You could do it with language. You could do it with social studies. There's so many different ways that you can use this program. I really enjoy it, and it's really a lot of fun for the kids. When you're ready for a new kid to start it, just click Reset, and it'll send everything back to the way it was. So now you have some ways of using the Vortex Sorter to create a lesson for your class. This is a really fun and interactive way to teach your kids about sorting different things. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and that you'll use it in the future. Thank you. Goodbye.